What's going on, everybody? Jennifer94 here. Welcome back to Ben Builds. This is build day number 10 on the P36, and this is as it stands right now. I wanted to work today, though, on the canopy. Now, last time we overcoated this in a silver color, which was fine, but that wasn't the coat that I wanted to have for the exterior. I wanted to go ahead and have that be visible for the interior color. Exterior, I've overpainted it in a NATO black, and that's going to give us a good primer coat for our top coat of silver. And I'm going to be using this. This is the Model Air chrome color that we picked up last time, and I'm going to use this to paint on the canopy. So we'll have the rear windows, the windscreen, and the center sliding section. Now painting this up, I'm going to be using just your basic mixture of five parts thinner to one part paint, just some light, easy coats over the top of this to get this all covered up because it's got that NATO flat black on there, um, that should be a sufficient primer coat, basically, to uh, allow that chrome to kind of dull down a bit so it shouldn't stand out too much and it should match the rest of the aircraft. So far, this is coming along pretty nicely, and I'm excited to see it all finished up with the decals on. Now I've got the last little quarter panels. Those are done, and we're going to let that dry. It's going to take a little bit of time, so we'll give it a couple hours to dry. We'll be back. And then we're going to mount these suckers onto the aircraft. So we'll be right back. All right. And we are back. To mount these canopies, I'm going to use this, Elmer's School Glue. Simple, cheap, and it's pretty effective as long as you're not handling your models too much. We're going to use a Q-tip to go ahead and to apply that Elmer's School Glue. I'm just going to dip a little bit onto the Q-tip. And there we go. Now I'll take this with a little bit of glue on it. And we're going to take our canopy and we're just going to touch it lightly right along the mounting edge of this part there we are just cover nice even coats not too much but not too little now this is going to go directly down on top of the windscreen area right about there let's position it just where we need it to be and then we'll hold it a little bit let that tack up just a tiny bit and then we'll be able to set it aside and just let it dry so that's right there no nope, not quite tacky enough that should work right about there. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the back windows. These are gonna be a simple procedure. Luckily, they fit pretty well. I've had these where they don't fit all the time, but these actually fit decently. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same technique, use a little bit of Q-tip, a little bit of Elmer's glue, and we're gonna cover the glue and just in the beveled edges. And that should be sufficient to get these things stuck down. Let's pull off this propeller. We don't need to break that. And we're going to uh, take this little bit of glue right around the edges. That should work well. And we're probably going to have to use some tweezers to go ahead and grip this so that I don't touch all the glue and smear it all over the actual window. All right. And I've placed it here onto the model. Push a little bit of pressure on it, get it stuck down. A little bit of glue came out, but not too bad. And it'll wipe right off. We have one more to do on the side, and then we'll mount the center section and get this thing ready for future. It has to dry a bit, though, so, you know, it may take a bit of time. Okay, and here we are. This is how it looks now. We've got our rear windows glued on. The front windscreen is glued on, but the center section is not. This is all dry, pretty much ready to go. And let's just pull the propeller back on the front of it here and get a good idea of how this looks when the canopy is on, closed up with the front propeller on. And that just fits right in there. Perfect. Okay, so this is as it stands now. Decent looking. I like how the colors are kind of turning out. Again, it's not super shiny, but it's not super dull either. It's a nice middle ground for me. I think I like this. Next step, though, we have a few little extra pieces we got to put on. Okay, we need to put on the exhaust stubs, and there are two different types. There's a long and a short exhaust stubs. So what we're going to have to do is figure out which one we want to use. And for the meantime, though, I don't really have enough background information on these to know what to use. So we're going to just paint both of them. Why not? So I've got my paint here. This is a Model Masters rust color paint. It is oil based, but so far that I haven't had trouble with this type of paint. It's been decent and it weathers down well, so I'm not too worried about it. We've got our thinner off to the side here. So I'm going to go ahead and use this and paint both of them. Now here are the parts and pieces right here on the sprue. They don't look too bad. So let's go ahead and just 
grab a brush, grab some paint, and paint these suckers up. That's about all we need to do. It should go fairly quickly. So yeah, a couple of coats ought to do. Nice light brush strokes. I don't brush paint a lot these days. Seems like I really should be, but I don't. <laughs> so, oh well. We're gonna go ahead and just touch up all these little areas. We're gonna hit both the short and the long because I don't know which one I should use. That's the trouble. I'm going to look up my references and figure that out. But until then, they'll both be painted in case I change my mind. That should be good. All right, so I've let the exhaust stubs dry, and I want to go ahead and install them here. Now, to do that, I'm going to have to go ahead and test fit them and get them all set and ready to go. And I've decided to go with the short ones. Now, let me show you why. In here, my reference book, if I can just find the page for you, it shows the actual Rasmussen aircraft, and there aren't any coverings at all on there. But they look like they're short, so we're going to go with the shorter exhaust stubs. I've cut them off the sprue, and I'm going to just simply test fit them and see if they fit into those little shrouds. I don't know what the deal is with these shrouds. Whoops, see, it just does not want to fit. I need to go ahead and probably doctor up those a bit more. I can do that with an X-Acto knife, though, so that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think I definitely want to open them up a little bit to get these things inside. All right, so the X-Acto knife was just right around the edge, just trimming it down a tiny, tiny bit. I guess I could also use maybe a jeweler file or something like that, but X-Acto knife works just as well. And we're going to set this in, and that looks pretty good. doesn't seem to be falling out any. So let's just make sure this position correctly. And we should be ready to go. Man, this thing is really coming together. It's kind of taken on its life of its own. I've always liked that about models when you get to this stage. All right, the other one is on. So we have both our exhaust stubs on. I had to do the same thing with this one as I did with the last one where I just carved it out with my X-Acto knife and then went ahead and fit the exhaust stub, hopefully the correct angle. They're kind of pointing outwards a little bit, but not drastically. So a little bit of, to me, extra thin cement here around the exhaust stub on the right and left side, and these aren't going anywhere. Plus, the holes are pretty snug as well, so that's a good point. They shouldn't fall out. Yep, just a little bit extra thin. That's all you need for this. And there we go. Now I'm going to let these dry. I want to let all the glue dry, and then we'll come back, and I think it's time for future, everybody. Okay, so we are back. The aircraft is dry. This is the next day here for me. Same video for you guys. I have to go ahead and mask these windows off. So let's go ahead and do that now because we need to paint the future. Now I've cut some of the blue painter's tape here and I'm going to use this as a mask and I'm just going to stick it down to the window. Luckily it's this low tack blue mask and that should be just fine. We don't need the center section, so Let's put that away and let's just stick this down. Here we are. Both sides are stuck down. We can use our X-Acto knife blade just to slice a little bit of that off, and we should be good to go. All right, so we are done with the future coat. We have these things down and covered. I'm gonna let this cure for about 48 to maybe 72 hours, and then we should be good for the next stage. I was a little bit worried that the future would harm the finish somehow, or maybe dull it down, but it's pretty good. I don't have a problem with it. I think this looks just fine. So that means next episode, we can go ahead and come back and do the decals. And these look really cool. I like the red, white, and blue. And it's going to be awesome to put these guys and all these buzz numbers. And then, of course, the tail cover onto this aircraft. All of these are going to look really cool. Can't wait, guys. So next episode, we're going to hit it with decals. Until then, enjoy your modeling. Happy building. And we'll see you next time on Ben Builds. Mm -hmm.